Hello and welcome to day 21. My name's Sarah and I'm going to be leading you through a heart-opening twisty yin. So to start, grab yourself some cushions or a bolster if you've got one and just place it long ways on your mat. Bring your hips to nestle in the back of the bolster and then just gently place your back down. So allow your shoulders to melt over either side and bring your legs out long in front of you. Allow your arms to be heavy and maybe bring your eyes to close. As you inhale, imagine sending that breath into the space around your heart and feel your chest open and rise. And as you exhale, allow your shoulders to drop. Be heavy over either side of your cushions, either side of your bolster. Allow your arms to be soft and your legs to naturally fall however they want to fall. With every inhale, feel your breath rise and expand your chest. Send it into the space around your heart. And with every exhale, allow your body to soften. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely and settle into your practice. Placing full awareness and intention on your body and on your breath for the next 30 minutes. Taking a moment to acknowledge the power of slowing down. When you're ready, gently start to rise your body up, just so that you can remove your cushions and your props from behind you. And then come to lying down on your back. We're going to take banana pose just to open up the sides of the body. So bring your arms above your head, take your left wrist with your right hand and then shuffle your hands over towards the left side of the room. And then take your left leg out slightly in the same direction and then cross your right ankle over your left so you're creating this gentle arch through the spine. Both shoulders remain on the mat taking it to whatever degree feels right for you. Breathing into this pose here, we're just gonna be here for a minute. Breathing into the rib cage on the right side of your body and feeling the right side of your body open. Uncross your legs, bring them back to center, and we'll take it straight to the other side. So raise your arms above your head. Take your right wrist with your left hand this time, and then bring your arms over towards the right, keeping your shoulders flat to the mat. Take your right leg over towards the right, and then cross your left ankle over your right, creating this arch, this banana shape through the body, opening out through the left side this time. Breathe into the left side of your rib cage and feel your lungs, your chest expand. And as you exhale, you soften. Big, expansive breaths, slow and steady.
uncross your legs, bring them back to center, and then gently bring your arms back to center, bringing them down by your sides and rolling over onto your front. So bring your hips facing down on the mat and then just place your forearms down to the mat too. So coming into Sphinx, bring your feet hip width apart, untuck your toes and hands, palms facing down. Forearms on the mat, shoulder width apart. And then keep your chin away from your chest. And imagine drawing your heart through your arms. Shining your chest forwards. Breathing into the space around your heart, opening out your chest. Maybe feeling this in your shoulders, in your spine. Take a few more deep, expansive breaths here, breathing in through your nose and sending that breath into the space around your heart, drawing your chest in between your arms, reaching it forwards, opening up through the shoulders, through the spine. And then when you're ready, simply send your hips back towards your heels. Come into a child's pose. Arms are out long, just for a moment. Inhale and send your breath into the back of your body this time. Feel it rise and expand and as you exhale, soften. Melt a little bit deeper into the mat. As you inhale, bring your body up to tabletop position, all fours. We're gonna take a few spinal rolls here. So as you exhale, bend your arms, allow your spine to come down to the mat. And as you inhale, push back up, curve your chin into your chest. Big versions of cat cow. Exhale, release down to the mat. And then inhale, push your way back. A few more like this with the flow of your own breath. One more. And then coming to settle in tabletop. I'd like you to inhale and reach your left arm up to the front. And as you exhale, you thread that left arm under your shoulder. Left shoulder to the mat, threading the needle. Bring your left ear to the mat and maybe close your eyes. Hips stay stacked above. Breathing into this posture, breathing into any area that you feel tightness or tension and using your breath to soften, release and let go. Surrender into this pose, open out through your shoulders. Twist into your spine.
You've got just under one more minute here. If at any point these postures feel like they're too much, simply bring your body back to child's pose. As long as you're breathing, as long as you're present on your mat, you're still doing yoga. When you're ready, if you've taken that extra twist, unwrap your right hand from your hip into that right hand, sweep your left arm up position. Take a moment to take any movements that you want to take just to release that. Maybe you're taking a few more of those ripples, exhaling your chest down towards the mat and inhaling, curving back up. Maybe child's pose is serving you better. We'll take it straight over to the other side. So inhale, twist it underneath your leg. And sweep your right arm up towards the sky, follow it with your gaze, open out your chest before placing it down into your tabletop position. Sit your hips back towards your heels just for a gentle child's pose and this time bring your arms down by your sides. Taking a moment to notice how your body feels. And then coming back up to tabletop, to all fours. Shuffle your hips over your knees again. Readjust whether you need to adjust, readjust. And if you want to go back to Sphinx that we took at the beginning where your forearms are on the mat and your hips are on the mat, then go for it. If you're ready for something a little deeper, then walk your hands forward towards the edge of the corners of your mat. And as you exhale, sink your chest down into puppy pose. Releasing your chest into the mat, placing your chin or maybe your forehead on the mat. And if you want to place a cushion underneath your chest for support, then do. Two 
two minutes here. One more minute. See if you can sink your chest a little bit deeper towards the mat. Open up your shoulders, your heart a little bit more. What can you let go of with every exhale? What tension can you release? When you're ready, start to gently send your hips back towards your heels. Keep your arms out long this time and bring your knees to as wide or as close as feels right for you for this child's pose. Just a few breaths here to reset. And this time, bring yourself up to a kneeling position. Kneeling up on, the, on your mat, in the center of your mat. We're gonna take camel pose from here. So bring your toes up to the mat. If you've got blocks or bricks and you wanna place them down by your side, then absolutely do. If not, Bring your hands towards your heels. Send your chest up to the sky and keep your chin away from your chest. Inhale, imagine sending that breath into the space around your heart and imagine a light shining up towards the ceiling. So you're sending your breath, your energy up towards the ceiling, into your chest, opening out through your shoulders. Big expansive breaths here. Send your hips forward, your heart up your shoulders back. And then when you're ready, gently bring your hands to your lower back and guide your body back up. Sit your hips back down towards your heels and just take a moment here, bring your eyes to close, your hands to your knees maybe and inhale, absorb the feeling that you've just accumulated within your body. Exhale, soften your shoulders, soften your chest, release. One more deep expansive breath here. And exhale, release. When you're ready, gently blink your eyes open. And we're gonna take that prop, cushion, bolster, whatever it might be that you used at the beginning and place it back to where you had it before. 
Again, you can take the same posture that we did before with your legs out long, or if you're ready to try something new, expand a little bit more, bring your feet to either side of your cushion and then sit your hips back down in between your feet. So arrange your feet and your calves so that your hips can sit down. You can place a block underneath your hips if you want to. Your feet to either side of your hips and then take it really gently, really slowly and see whether you feel good lying back on your bolster and your cushions from here. So feel fully supported by whatever it is that you're lying on. Make sure there's no tension in your knees and just check in that this feels okay in your body. If you'd rather take the version with your legs out long or maybe even your feet flat to the mat and your knees pointing to the sky, then definitely do. The point here is that your shoulders melt over your cushions towards the mat and your heart is open, your chest is open. Hands can be down by your side. We're going to be here for three minutes. Maybe bring your eyes to close. Check in with how your body is feeling physically. Where do you feel this most intensely? And if at any point it becomes too much, simply guide yourself back up to a kneeling position and either take child's pose or bring yourself into a short Shavasana. With yin, we aim to take our bodies to their edge where we feel a sensation, but we never want to feel pain. So if at any point you feel something doesn't feel right in your body, listen to it and respond in a way that's kind. Move in a way that nourishes your body. Move in a way that's kind to you. Now breathe into your heart space. Feel your chest expand. And exhale, soften and let go. See if you can melt any tension from your shoulders that you're still holding on to. Imagine sending it down into the mat. Big expansive breaths filling your chest and deep slow exhales releasing any physical tension. One more deep inhale here. And one more deep exhale. And then bring your hands to the soles of your feet or bring them to the sides of your body if your legs are out long. Use your elbows to guide you back up and take it really slowly, really gently. Swing your legs around so that you're coming down, lying on your back and just remove your cushion. So bring yourself to flat on the mat this time. Soles of the feet to the floor. And then keep rolling down so that your knees come into your chest and just give yourself a hug. And if it feels nice to rock from side to side here, then definitely do. Perhaps staying still is better for you. Again, just listen to what your body is asking for. Listen to what your body needs. And then we're gonna finish with a gentle twist on each side. So keep your knees close together and then just allow them to fall over towards the left, twisting through the spine, maybe taking your arms out to a T position like wings, or maybe just bringing them to your body, wherever feels nice. 
and then you can adjust your legs accordingly. So if you want a more intense twist, you can take your right leg and raise it so it's slightly higher than your left, or you can keep your knees together, whatever feels nice. 90 seconds on each side. On your next inhale, gently bring your knees back into center. Bring them level with one another and you can leave your arms out wide if that's where they are. We're gonna take it straight over to the right. So allow your knees to fall over towards the right side of the room, the right side of the mat. And then just arrange your legs however you want to arrange them. Maybe your left leg rises this time, maybe your knees stay level with one another. 90 seconds here. On your next inhale, gently bring your knees in towards your chest. Hug them with your hands and just take a moment here in stillness. We're gonna move into Shavasana from here and I'm gonna suggest taking your cushion or your bolster and just placing it underneath your calves this time. So you can come into traditional, traditional Shavasana if that feels good or you can place your bolster underneath your calves so they're slightly raised. Hands can be down by your side or hands can be on your body. Whatever feels nice and just bring yourself to a comfortable, cozy position. Bringing your eyes to close if they're not already. Nothing more to do. Simply pay attention to how your body feels. Pay attention to how your breath feels as it travels into your heart space, fills your chest, and how it feels as it tracks its way back out, allowing you to soften, release any tension. And just take a moment to thank your body for everything that it does for you every minute of every day. Your last few moments of stillness.
you're more than welcome to stay exactly where you are. If you want to carry on with your day, then bring some gentle movement into your fingertips and into your toes. And then when you're ready, roll gently onto one side before bringing yourself up to your seated position. Hands are placed lightly in your lap. Gaze is still soft or eyes are still closed. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Feel your chest rise. And exhale, absorb the effects of this practice. Notice how your body feels. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Gently blink your eyes open and bow forward to close your practice. Jai.